Hey everyone, it's TechWares. Today is May 17th, 2025. And I haven't made a video in a long time on Intel Arc. So this video is going to be like a compilation of all the latest news, rumors, and leaks on Intel Arc GPUs. We're going to start off by talking about the B770 or the rumored B770. Then we're going to do Arc Celestial, which is based on XE3. Then Druid, which is based on XE4. Straight from the tech world, as of May 2025. So I've got some details to keep you hyped for Intel's next moves in the GPU game. Let's uh, jump right in. So, Intel Arc B770. This is going to be Battle Mage's big moment. All right, uh, this is going to be kicking things off at pretty much rumored Computex 2025. Uh, this is what's got everyone talking. So here's gonna here's the rundown, right? So what's the buzz? Um, Intel's dropping major hints uh, on X on the official Intel X account, replying to fans by saying, "Stay tuned." when they're begging for B770. So all the signs point to a big reveal at Computex 2025, which is happening May 20th to uh, 2025 in Taipei, Taiwan. The rumored specs, uh, we're hearing whispers of 32 XC2 cores and 16 gigs of GDDR6 VRAM on a 256-bit bus. It could also be GDDR7 VRAM. Uh, that's enough muscle to take on NVIDIA's RTX 4070, so that's pretty exciting. Uh, when is it coming? The Computex on VLC uh, seems likely, but uh, some reports warn of delays since the GPU hasn't taped out yet, so we might be waiting until late 2025 or even early 2026 for the launch. However, these are once again just like speculations. By people right so uh, why is it a big deal well the high VRAM and competitive performance could make this uh, a go-to for gamers and AI creators on a budget right so yeah quick note just Computex 2025 is where it's at for the B770 news uh, but don't expect it's st in stores right away but this could be Intel's breakout moment Arc Celestial, right? XC3. This is Intel's uh, GPU that's going to be aiming for the stars. Um, Arc Celestial, which is uh, based on architecture called XC3. It's going to be Intel's third gen architecture that's shaping up to be a powerhouse. So here's what we know so far. Uh, where is it at? C Celestial's nearly ready it's in pre-validation or maybe post-validation with the hardware design locked in intel's fellow tom peterson said in december 2024 that it's baked and now it's all about the software polish so what's on the table this one's targeting ultra enthusiast gamers with a possible xc3p variant uh, rumors suggest that in intel might use its own foundry um, instead of TSMC. So if they would build this GPU on their own foundry on 18A processor, uh, this could be a major game changer. The launch timeline. Well, uh, most best 2026 or 2027. There were a few optimistic leaks hint at late 2025 if everything clicks. Why is it exciting? Celestial could put Intel in the, in the ring with NVIDIA and Intel, sorry, not NVIDIA and Intel, NVIDIA and AMD's high-end GPUs. Perfect for 4K gaming and poor workloads. So yeah, Celestial's a year or two out, but it's Intel's shot at the premium market. Start saving for that dream rig, especially if you want that dream Intel CPU, Intel GPU rig. 
Also, I might add that Intel might skip B770 and go straight to Celestial. That's just the rumors and speculation from the tech world online. Now let's get into XC4. Druid. This is the future and the future is brewing. All right. Uh, we've got Druid based on XE4 architecture, Intel's fourth gen architecture. It's right, right now, it's, it's early days, so details are tight, but here's the scoop. All right, so what's happening? Intel's team is already working on Druid with a Git repository leak confirming it's in the pipeline after Celestial's hardware wrap up. What to expect? No firm specs yet, but it's the next evolution of XE, after XE3 likely pushing performance and efficiency even further. When is it dropping? Celestial aiming for 2026 or 2027. Druid's probably 27, um, 2027 or later. Um, there's an older uh, 2021 rumors of uh, 2025 launch. They were way off mark, right? So why does it matter? Um, this proves Intel's all in on GPUs, planning years ahead to keep up with AMD and Nvidia. And also, I just want to add that Intel has multiple teams working on multiple architectures. So uh, when they were working on XC1, they already had a team working on XC2. When they had uh, when they were working on XC2, they had a team working on XC3, and so on. So it's multiple teams working on multiple architectures. They have multiple pipelines. So quick take on Druid's uh, on Druid XC uh, XC4. Uh, Druid's a distant dream for now, but it shows Intel is not backing down from the GPU fight. So that's it for today, guys. Um, I just find Arc graphics, discrete graphics, way more interesting than NVIDIA, GeForce, and AMD Radeon. Just me personally. Um, but yeah, this was the roadmap that was long, uh, that was uh, actually revealed. Um, many years ago at uh, architecture uh, intel architecture day 2021 so this is an older uh, roadmap i'm pretty sure of course the roadmap has changed but yeah this is just um kind of gives you like an idea that you know uh you have xe 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 hpg which is high performance gaming xe2 hpg high performance gaming xe3 hpg and you have druid which is xe next architecture so yeah that's it for today guys. Hope you found this video helpful or maybe somewhat informative and enlightening. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Take care everyone. Peace.